Hey guys, this is Brendan with Sonic Electronics and today we're going to be showing you how to wire these two dual 4 ohm subs in series parallel to equal a final impedance of 4 ohms. So here we have our MDX VCW dual 4 ohm subs, which we're going to be wiring in series parallel. Now you can test the impedance of each coil to see what it rests at, just to verify that it is a 4 ohm coil prior to wiring, which we're going to go ahead and do real quick here. This we're going to go ahead and put our meter setting on the ohm, take our two test leads and attach it to one of the voice coils of the woofer. Does not matter which one you use, positive or negative. Now make sure the woofer is facing up towards the sky because if we do press this cone, the impedance will fluctuate up and down. So once we stop touching the cone, we should read a 4 ohm final impedance. As you see here, 4.0. Perfect. So your reading may fluctuate a couple points. Don't worry about that as long as it stays steady and it's around 4 ohms, we know we got a 4 ohm coil. So now we're ready to wire our subwoofers. Now to start, we're going to go ahead and series each woofer to raise the impedance to 8 ohms. I'm going to take our short jumper and go between the negative on the first coil to the positive on the second coil. I'm going to go ahead and replicate this on the other side for our second woofer here. So once we've wired the woofers in series, it's now time to take our remaining terminals that we have left over and wire them in parallel to drop the impedance back down. And we'll have our other set of jumpers here. I'm going to go ahead and take blue for positive, attach it to our positive terminal on voice coil number one, bring this around to the positive on our secondary woofer. Now before we attach it to the terminal, we want to go ahead and get another jumper and twist these two together, which will end up going to our box terminal on the inside of the enclosure. Now we got two negatives left over. Go ahead and take another jumper, attach it to the last negative on the first woofer, bring that around to our secondary woofer, have another jumper here, which will be also going to our box terminal on the inside of the enclosure. Twist these together, attach to your last negative terminal. Now we have two leads, which will end up going to our box terminal on the inside of the enclosure. Once we have successfully wired the woofers in series parallel, it's now time to double check our work with our multimeter to verify that we have a four ohm reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our speaker leads here, attach them to our test leads on the meter, and we should have a reading right around four ohms. Perfect. So once again, that's how we wire two dual four ohm subs in series parallel to equal a final impedance of four ohms. I'm Brendan with Sonic Electronics, your source for everything car audio.